That's gotta be a bass here. That thing's fighting like mad. Or maybe a crappie. Oh yeah. Oh man. Oh, Isaiah's got a little bass. We got the bass bite going on. It's a good one, isn't it? Take your time. Oh yeah, he's fighting good. Dang. Ooh, that one was... Is that that big bass? He's gonna catch some toads You're watching Predator Bass fishing with Danny Rhodes Whether he's ripping lips or pulling box and net He's doing everything under the sun And you can catch it all here On Predator Bass fishing Okay guys, we're out in the canoe Isaiah 1, Predator Bass fishing 0 That was cool. He's still swimming there, isn't he? Mm -hmm. He's like, where do I go now? Where's my home at? He's like, look, there's a little bait over here floating. <laughs> He's like, I don't think so, mister. <laughs> that was hilarious. I hope that's on video. I seriously doubt it, but. Oh my gosh, predator bass fishing just threw it right up in the tree here. I gotta remember, I got some good. Uh... Jeez, there went my worm. I gotta remember, I got some uh, new line on here. This thing casts like a mile. If you'd rather have this thing warm, so. I ain't gonna use much, so whatever you wanna do is. I'm gonna try to get rid of the old ones first. Okay, probably a good idea. Are they some you caught or did you buy some? Uh, I bought them. All right, I'm using crappie jig. Isaiah's got a hook on. I've got smaller hooks if you think you want a smaller one. I like using a real small hook. That way the little ones aren't, ain't gonna steal your bait. But, but you're already up one zero, so who am I to give you advice? A red, yeah, it makes it, it's like a bleeding hook or something. Yeah. Oh, you bastard. Is that what you are going to say? Uh, like, they don't go after it. They don't like the red hook? Yeah. Huh. They don't like it? Yeah, crappie do at night with a minnow on them. A fat head minnow. Just don't like that. I got a jig that's got a red uh, red hook, and it's called bleeding bleeding bait or something. All right, let's uh, do something here. Get us off the bank a little bit. Isaiah, this should be non-stop action tonight now. Hopefully. My rod almost cast too good. Yours looks like it was doing the same. Uh-oh, Isaiah's got one. Oh, it's a nice bat. It's a nice bluegill. Looks like a decent one. Oh, he thought he was tied. He was just for a second. But now... Look out. We're at three to two. We're at three to two, folks. Let me get a picture of you, Isaiah. Hey, we just had a double. We just had a double right here. We got us a double. This one's kind of fat. Is it? 
This one's kind of fat too, but we'll get bigger ones. All right, three to two. Three to two, I better get Isaiah in a little bit better position. I don't want him to tell me that I had him out of position and, you know, I don't want him having any excuses tonight. And we start keeping score, it is on. You're going against the fishing channel. I mean, it's legit stuff. It is legit stuff. Somebody just text you? Yeah. So he's at this uh, Gander Mountain up there. You got one or? Bass. Is it a bass? Yep. Isaiah with the first bass. That ought to almost count for two. Okay, we're counting bass for two. Whoa! Unless you drop it, then it only counts for one. <laughs> Isaiah with the bass. Derek might not be mad if, he, if we took a few of those out of here, but it's a nice one. Little 10, 11 incher. See you, bud. Crap. Uh oh, I got a real problem. Oh, I got a fishing real problem. Your bobber's got some weight on it or something, doesn't it? You gotta let it go down kind of far. I mean, it looked like your bobber was already under the water is why I was like. Yeah, I didn't know if it was like a bluegill, but it just peck at it a lot. Yeah. So if it was, I wanted to make sure I had it. You bobber fish more than I do. I need to leave you alone. And this is a tournament series here. Jeez. Oh yeah, oh yeah, come on, get down here in the boat. Oh yeah. You can't mess around with for a tournament because it is on here. Where we at? Who's got three? I do. You get two for a bass? Oh. Four to four? Yeah. So, you, is it four to four? Yeah, if you count the Okay, bass, yeah, yeah. Two. Okay. Yep, four to four. All right, I caught a couple fish on that piece of worm there that time, so. Oh, jeez, Isaiah. Jeez. That one's a better one. Isaiah says, I think I'm going to put that one in the cooler. Don't tell the owners of the pond. Oh, wow, that is a big one. Looks bigger to me. Looks like a nice one. We might have to dump a little bit of ice out of that. I don't know, he's not huge. Bigger than my hand. He's not huge, but he's a good size. He'll make you a fish sandwich. You might have you might have dumped some of that out, but you'll be alright. That'll that'll uh when you put the lid on, he'll be won't give him much room to Alright, let me back us out of here a little bit. If I can. He's up here on his porch watching me put one in the cooler. <laughs> One of the owners of the pond. He said, "This ain't show and tell time." Isaiah's out here sticking, sticking bluegills in his cooler. I'm gonna tell him. All right, five to four, right? Yep. Five to four. Oh. That's me. I like to twitch my bobber a lot. I like to twitch that bobber. Oh, he's trying to get out of there. That's not obvious. Hey, you guys caught any? You're not keeping any, are you? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir, we don't do that. We don't ever keep nothing. Oh, dang, you scuba steever. All right, let's see here. You up one? Yeah. Sure. 
I'm just kidding. I know you're five to four. Oh, hey, I, I, I just missed one and he got my worm, piece of crap. All right, we're going wormless this time. We're going to try it with no worm. We're going to see what we can do. No worm. Crappie three points? Yeah. Guess we should have set the ground rules before we... They're saying, we ain't no... Uh... We ain't eat no crappie jig without a worm on there. Who you think we are? We need a little bit of a meal here. We ain't just gonna be that easy for you to catch us. Here we go home with this one. I can unhaul some trout that we caught in Tennessee. That'd be cool. You ain't going home with only that one. This is one of those ponds where it definitely needs some fish taken out of it. I was just talking about that in my other video earlier today. There's some ponds that just, they have a lot of fish in them. And the owners are always like, hey, don't be, you know, taking that out of there. It's like, you know what? This pond would be 100 times better off if it had 100, 200 less fish in it. Maybe more than that. It's probably got thousands in here. There's something. Little gill. Kind of decent, decent sized gill. Might be a keeper, as eh? Want another one in there? Oh boy. I just gave you another job. That's it. Hey, give him a job. Give Isaiah a job. Oh, you're about, oh man. Oh, uh, oh man. I was trying to give him a job to keep him from catching that one and he got him. Six, five. Six, five. Six to five. Oh, make that, make that six to six, big boy. Oh, it's on. Oh, just barely got him by the skin of his bottom lip. Oh, if you drop one, that's half a point. Just kidding. All right, let's try, I'm gonna try one more time with no... Uh... With no nothing on it. Oh, they hit it. Might be the crappie jig, the crappie jig advantage. Not having to have any night crawler on there. Oh yeah. Oh man. Oh man, we got it. This has got to be a bass. Yeah. Or, yeah, bass. I guess. What's the score now, Isaiah? Nine to six. Nine to six, baby. Yeah. Didn't have to put a worm on it. Oh boy, oh boy, Isaiah's got a bass. He says not for long. No, he's just got a big old gill. Oh yeah. He kind of come over here and stole my spot a little bit, if you guys really want to know about it. But that's okay. I mean, I was kind of, you know, we were going out of the spot a little bit. I'm just glad I got the bass out of the spot. Ah, oh, I missed one. Might need to paddle us back up in there and We could take turns paddling occasionally, but that's okay. I'll, I'll give you the advantage on the paddling. You're trying to challenge the fishing show here. All right, let's get us back in here into position. This seems like a pretty good little spot here. Where are we at? Uh, eight, nine. Eight to nine. Or seven, nine. Seven, nine. Since I caught that one. And you count them out. Holy crap. One just hit my freaking bobber. Something just hit my bobber. A bass just hit my bobber. I hope I got that on video. A bass or something did. Can you take it, please? Eat that thing, baby. Eat it. Eat it. 
He's like, I'm tasting it. That tail don't taste like nothing real. I had some real stuff before. That ain't real. Wow, they're up there smacking the barber. We're out here bluegill fishing. The bass are just begging us to, to be bass fishing. Oh, Isaiah with the hook set. I saw it. Oh, yeah, he's got him a gill. He's got him a gill. Ooh, I'm right by a little log over there. Where are we at, 9-8? Yep. Pulled it out a little too quickly. Get us moving in one direction and ooh, oh. nice gill, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's a nice big one. That is a nice big one there. Oh yeah, I think so. I don't need that we're like red ears yet. Isaiah just took the lead on me. He's up ten nine. We both got a bass, didn't we? So we both got a bass. Oh yeah, I just got one. This is my first one I've got in a minute. Pretty one. Hey, I've been hearing guys acting like uh, I know there's some tournaments where you can weigh in dead fish. And it was like a one pound penalty or something. I mean, I told somebody, I was like, that wouldn't be bad. We, you know, we had a three and a half pounder, four and a half pounder die. You know, we'd have weighed that sucker in. Okay. All right, appreciate it. Hey, all. Uh, thanks for calling me and getting that for me. Okay, talk to you later. Bye. All right, where we at, score wise? No, I just got one. Did you count that? Oh. Okay. Don't be trying to cheat me. Don't be trying to cheat the guy with the fishing channel. He knows how to count. Just kidding. He doesn't know how to position the boat though, very good. Let me see if I, let me take this up here. They just got that pool like a couple weeks ago or something. Oh, missed him. Tell you what, there's advantages to a closed faced reel when you're, I mean, there's a lot of crap you deal with with a spinning reel. I mean, you're hoping the line stays on there good and you, oh, crap, it can happen. If I catch one back here, it'd be a nice little reeling in from a long ways away. Ah, oh, I missed him, booger. Is that little clack, that sounds like our, uh, he gets our green here and, yep. That's our green heron up there. Of course, he's facing the wrong direction. Blue, blue. <laughs> There's a decent look at him. He's shaking his head. 
I think he was ticked at me earlier today. Well, yeah. Wild Kingdom. <laughs> you got to talk to the animals around. <laughs> you changing something up or? Huh? Thought maybe you were changing something up. Oh yeah, oh man. That's gotta be a bass here. That thing's fighting like mad. Or maybe a crappie. It's a bassie. Oh yeah. Oh baby, he's mad. He's mad, he says that was just a crappie jig and I knew it and I thought I was just gonna get a nice little. Oh, Isaiah's got a little bass. We got the bass bite going on. It's a good one, isn't it? Take your time. Oh yeah, he's fighting good. Dang. Might be your biggest bass of the year, you think? Yeah, I think so. He's thick, he looks like a good... Uh... Oh, I just gotta get him in the boat. Get him in here to get your two points. Nice. Oh, that didn't count yet. There you go. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, he's like, I ain't messing around anymore, man. It's a nice. That's a little fourteen incher. Hold him out for the camera. Oh okay. yeah. Little double action. Nice. There's mine. Yeah, that's a thick little. That's a thick little fourteen incher. He put up a heck of a fight for you. There's one. I was watching your bobber. Decent little gill. Had some stripies for a second when I pulled him out, I thought. Now he's got like nothing. Just pretty little, pretty little sides there. Thank you, buddy. 1412. 1412. I'm a referee, I'm not a good scorekeeper. They've had me do that at like Park Chapel when I do stuff there and it's like, man, we need to hire another scorekeeper because you're bad at this. This feels like a decent little gill. Oh, yeah. Oh, pretty little guy. Pretty bird. Pretty bird. I don't know if he's a, I don't think he's a keeper. I mean, he's pretty. Yeah. I'm sure there's catfish. Catch a catfish, that's five points. And that little green on his chin there is just awesome. Thank you, buddy. Caught him on a little crappie jig. All right, 14 pounds. Were you getting a bite? I thought you moved like you were getting ready to set the hook on one or something. Ooh, like that. Took it up how across it did. Kind of just started going sideways? It like went up. Oh, okay. Oh, baby. <clears throat> oh, jeez. About took my head off. Sorry. <laughs> about took my own head off here. And about flipped this. Grief. I watch any scary movie, but the scariest thing is the movie flying at you. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I think I'm going to duck here. Because that sucker's coming straight at my face. Oh, is that, you got a fish? I don't know. It was moving to the side, but I, I think he had a log or something. When it started moving to the side, I'm like, holy crap, Isaiah. You got a six pound bass or a 10 pound catfish. Oh, my line just freaking broke. When my bobber came off. Yeah, my line broke. I might have to go in there and get that. I'm not sure I got another. This is Isaiah's moment of opportunity here. Do I have another good bobber in there? Yeah, I do. I'm gonna have to get you up here where you can fish in that good spot. 
while I'm while I'm jacking around. Corey Smith, that rod rang up at thirty-five dollars. Hey, where we're at right now, that spot is fire right there. Where my bobber's at too. We gotta. That spot's ridiculous. Holy crap, Isaiah. Could be a big crappie or a big bass. It's big, isn't it? it feels like it. Uh, big gill. That's a that's a nice big gill. Huh? My size. Yeah. Looks like it's got a big mouth on it, doesn't it? Like a warm mouth or something? Yeah, it is a warm mouth. It's got the stripes and crap. Dude, they fight like mad. That's a big warm mouth. You see how he's got like the little red ear on him and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, that thing's awesome. Usually they're a little bit thicker too. That one's not super thick, but he's not bad. Is that a big bass jumping? Yeah. Think he'd make a sandwich? Oh, he'd make a sandwich. Let's uh, I don't, I haven't seen a lot of warm mouth in here. Let's let him go. We'll get, we'll have plenty here. <coughs> We've only been fishing for an hour. Can't hardly see it. You're number 14? Yep. What's the score? Okay, I lost my bait up in there. I get one more cast because I lost my bait. Dude, they're just stacked in there, aren't they? Yeah. Did we keep him or let him go? Um, let me see. He's kind of, is he skinny? He seems skinny to me. Yeah. Well, maybe they're not stacked in there or they don't like my stuff anymore. Look at this moth, he likes me. Is that good luck? I'd have to say it is. I knocked it off. It landed on my elbow now. My there we go. Dang, dude. Sucker, like like you said, he darted. He's a big one, isn't he? Yep. He might be a. He might be one for the box. If you want him. <laughs> Many as you, I say you can have. Out of the pond, it's not mine. <laughs> oh, come on, baby. Yep, 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 yep. Swinging towards, swimming towards me. Or it's a tiny one. Little guy. I mean, that might be the smallest one we caught today. I think so. Think? Flipper, you just flip water around my eye, Flippy. He says, give me that worm. I want that worm. No, you ain't getting it. It's mine. Okay, thanks, little guy. my buddy again he's back on my, on my knee here it's my mom coming to see me you got one Isaiah if you're if the other guy's got to tell you then you don't get any points for it I'm just kidding that's got pretty color doesn't it yeah, like, a like a pink yeah Nice. Bass? Yep. yep. This will make me tied. Nice one. Got a 12 incher. I would think so. Looks pretty good. Oh, yeah. Dang, that one, he's swimming out here towards me. Little gill. Pretty good size one. Not too thick, but might be a good fish sandwich. Want him? Sure. Isaiah. 
Yeah, when you set the hook, it looked like it didn't move anywhere. Nice bluegill, looks like a big one. Pretty good size there. Oh man. You called it. That was money. Big bluegill? Looks like a freaking big one. Looks like a freaking giant one. Number 20. Nice. I thought it looked like a, like a red ear a little bit, but it's just a big fatty in it. Not a very big one, I don't think. But, yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, we do this again sometime. I'm, I'm, uh, I got another rod that's really, really ultra light. Thank you, buddy. Good dark, good dark color. Pretty fish, sir. Sure. That feels like a good one. That is a good one. He got a little belly on him. That's a hand size one right there. Uh oh, cops are they know you're keeping fish. <laughs> yeah, we got some kids out here. To. There's only 68 million fish in this pond, and we don't allow anybody to keep any. I'm gonna have to check your cooler before you leave. Safe to dump fish out. Mm. Oh. Ooh, that's a good spot right there for a big old bassy. Got one, got one, got one. It ain't a bassy, but it's a gill. Come on in here, little Mr. Gill. Little dude. Uh, well, we're close. Closer than I thought we were. Holy crap, dude. I got one. I got one. That was hilarious. That was crazy, dude. Did you see that? I was like over the limb. I mean, all kinds of crazy crap going on. That's what I wish would happen to me every time when I get stuck down at the creek. Yeah, I do that a lot of times. I like leave it there hoping that it'll, uh, something will come up here and grab it. But. Oh, that count? I don't know. He got off. He wasn't a keeper, but I'm going to say he wasn't in the boat. Didn't grab a hold of him. If I was going to keep him or something, wouldn't have been able to. 2320?
that 20... 25. That last one didn't count. Oh, then. 24. 24, okay. Got you one, yeah. Looks like a good little fighter. Heck yeah. I need to get us out from the bank a little bit. Makes 20. That's another one of those. Uh, Corbin? Yeah, it looks like it. They're, they're a little thicker. He's pretty thick, dude. There's one. Jeez, Jeez what is that? A little bass. Yeah. It just, it looked weird when it came out of the water. It's like, what? It looked, if I was in the creek, I'd have thought it was a creek jub. Try, try, kind of try what? Just under the boat? Yeah, just like. Yeah. I don't know if it's super deep, but, uh, but I was catching some earlier today. I had a hit like right next to the boat like that. You got one. Big one? Mm. Pretty nice. That's probably one of the ones I saw. They were chasing little fish out of there. Bass? Good one. Nice. Nice one. Mix that at 25. What do I got? 26? Yep. Everybody get busy here. Alright. Getting dark on us. I saw something said there was a 60% chance of rain today. Really? Yeah. Is it? I mean, it. I feel like I'm hearing stuff right now. This is what reminded me of that. Was a lot of bluegill like right here where we're sitting. Seems like. That's a good spot too right there. That's your spot from last night, isn't it? Yeah. I was like, as I was like, hey, I can cash in on my on my spot over here. Oh, crap. Please tell me it's like a two-inch bass. It is. <laughs> That's a two-pointer. That is a two-pointer, Isaiah. 28, 25. Hey, it don't look like much. That's two points, everybody. Oh, it's, it was to the right of that. But you got one, though, don't you? Yep. Nice. Feel good? Uh, a little. Think it's bluegill? Nope. It's a bass. 627. Oh, nice. Alright, I better get a rod out here.
hate the skating, but that's two points right there. <laughs> 30? Yep. 30, 27. Thank you, baby. Well, Isaiah's still messing with his. Let's go ahead and get us another one. Oh, he missed it. Up in there, see if you like yours. Ready? It was right towards that little rock on the bank, the one on the right. Yeah, reel in a little, just a little bit. Yeah, right there. Jeez. Crap, I think my ooh, sorry. There we go. Oh gosh. He wants something moving, looks like. Did you get one? Yep. You did? All right. You got a nice bluegill, don't you? Pretty nice one. 28. Dang it. Now I threw it all in there nice and easy that time and he didn't freaking hit it. Oh, come on, Mr. Bassey. You think it was that fish? Now all of a sudden there's nothing. I think it was that bluegill hitting this thing? Could have been. There he is. No, I thought it was a bass. 32. I thought it was a bass. Thank you, buddy. Low battery. Oh, nice side. Hey, had a good day. On the pond. We got a little, uh, we got a little sunset going down. Caught a lot of fish. Where are we at? Uh, I'm at 28, you're at 32. Oops. Man, you're trying to take me out so I can't catch anymore. <laughs> Did you just, you're just getting one right there? I like followed it. Oh, you saw it following it here? Yeah. Holy crap, is it little? Yeah. You got it, not too little. Nice, that's pretty smart. Pretty smart, I don't care what people say about you. <laughs> He's good. Are you at 32, 34? I think 32. 32, 29? Yep. Oh man, he had it for a long time. Didn't he? Yeah, I saw bubbles going around. I'm like, what in the heck is that? It was like a little, you know, I don't know, a little weird thing of bubbles. And it kept going around and like, it was like hitting top, looked like little fish like hitting top and stuff. And uh, got him that time, didn't he? And, uh, nice one. and finally I saw him. It was like a school of like baby bass, like that size of that bass I caught earlier. Yeah. It was a school of like 20 of them swimming around. So it was like a school of like fry or whatever, I guess, like newborn fish from this year that uh, we're swimming around together. We probably got about eight minutes. That'll be 940 and then we probably better. That'll put us back to your house by 10 maybe if we're lucky. Got one. Feels decent but it's not huge. But not bad. Not bad. Might be one of my bigger, definitely one of my bigger fish today. Thirty 
Nice. Another double for us. Another double. Another double. Another double. Get you? Yep. Yep. So we started at 7.07. Easy, buddy. I need your two points. Isaiah's trying for a last minute comeback. What do I got now? Uh, 30. I had 35, I think. Or 30. 38. Okay. 38. Oh, you got one. Don't you? Is that that big bass? No. Hey, he might have wanted it moving. Yeah, it's a bass. Nice one. I don't know if I was that one that jumped or not, but I say we leave on a, we both just caught one. Yeah. What do you think? We got some pretty lights over here going on. Looks cool up there. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching Predator Bass Fishing with Isaiah and Danny Rhodes. Appreciate y'all. We'll show you this nice view back here. Of the sunset. Oh, yeah, ain't that pretty? All right, later. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.